Welcome to Complain or Night Prayer on the last day of this year in 2020, Thursday, 31st of December. The church commemorates John Wycliffe, reformer, who died this day in 1384. And it's also New Year's Eve for us, Old Year's Night, depending on where your origins are, your heritage. And as we give thanks to God for bringing us to the last day of the year, let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread on the foot or deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and the Holy Spirit, by whose breath all souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5, and then 19 to 24. The refrain, Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love. When I was as a city besieged, I had said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all who wait in hope for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us, and hope is veiled in grief, Hold us in your wounded hands, and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Amen. Our scripture reading is John 1, verses 4 and 5. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for our Gospel Canticle, which is the Nag Dimittis, also called the Song of Simeon. The refrain, Alleluia, the Word was made flesh, Alleluia, and dwelt among us, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Word was made flesh, Alleluia, and dwelt among us, Alleluia, Alleluia. As we come to our prayers of intercession, we give thanks to God for bringing us not only to the end of this day, but to the end of this year. We give thanks for the medical teams in this land, among other nations. We give thanks for those who have found the vaccine for COVID-19 to help, to heal, to keep it at bay, to cure. We give thanks for those who have taken the vaccine so far. We pray for those who are taking it. We pray that you would alleviate the fear of those who are worrying about the after effects. We give thanks for those who contracted COVID-19 this year and who recovered. We pray for their continued health as they may have to live with the effects of their organs that are now not working to full capacity. We pray for those who cared for sick ones and ill ones this year. We remember those who are bereaved this year not only through COVID-19, but other ailments like cancer, old age, those who were struck down suddenly with heart attacks and strokes and those sort of things. We pray that all those who have died this year, we pray for their souls, that they would rest in peace and rise in glory. We pray for all those whom they have left behind, that they would know your comfort, your healing, your wholeness, your peace, this night and always. And we pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, and Boris, our Prime Minister, and leaders of all nations. That as we come to the end of this year, we pray and look forward to a peaceful year next year, as we renew our covenant with God and give thanks for all that God has done for us in 2020. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his divinity, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We give you thanks, O God, for the gift to the world of our Redeemer. As we sing your glory at the close of this day, so may we know his presence in our hearts, who is our Saviour and our Lord, now and for ever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the love of the Word made flesh enfold us. May joy fill our lives. His peace be in our hearts. And the blessing of God be with us this night and always. 
Amen. Thank you for joining us for Complain on this last day of the year. And as I bid you good night, and I give thanks to God for all that God has done for all of us this year, I wish you a new year, 2021 filled with hope, with health, with peace, and with love that we would continue to care one for another. Good night and God bless you.